Software Spring Presence How to use eDate in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on the eDate function. Here's an introduction to eDate. eDate returns date, before or after specified months, from specified starting date. Alright, let's look at the format of the eDate function formula. Here is an example. Start date, is the reference date. Months, is optional, and are the number of months, before or after the start date. If months is a positive number, it indicates, months are after the start date. If months is a negative number, it indicates, months are before the start date. Start date, and or months, can be, for example, a hard-coded date, and or month. Or, they can also be, for example, a cell address. Going forward, here is an objective of using the eDate function formula. To get dates, before and after specified months, from specified start dates. Alright, these are the values for start date and months arguments. We are ready to type the eDate function formula. First, type equal to symbol, ed, and select eDate. For start date, click this cell. Type comma. For months, click this cell. Press enter. Click the tick mark, to autofill these cells with the formula. There you go. These are the dates, before or after the specified number of months, from the specified start dates. Because this number is negative, eDate has returned the date, before 14 months, from the start date. Quick review. eDate returns date, before or after specified months, from specified start date. Positive number for months, indicate months after start date. Negative number for months, indicate months before start date. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.